Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with the leaders of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries, marking the advent of the new year 2023. His Majesty the King wished the leaders abundant health and happiness, as well as further progress and prosperity to their countries and friendly people. His Majesty the King further expressed the hope that security, peace and better welfare worldwide prevails throughout the world for the whole of humanity. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Chairman of the Transitional Sovereignty Council in Sudan, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan, Abdul Rahman Al Burhan, on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished Al Burhan abundant health and happiness and the brotherly Sudanese people further progress, security, and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Chairman of the Transitional Sovereignty Council in Sudan, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan Abdul Rahman Al Burhan, on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished Al Burhan abundant health and happiness and the brotherly Sudanese people security, progress, and stability. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the race of the second round of the Bahrain International Horse Race Championship Series. In the presence of the Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club Supreme Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The race is organized by the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club and sponsored and supported by the Economic Development Board, the Bahrain Aluminum Company, Batelco, the National Bank of Bahrain, the Bank of Bahrain and Kuwait, As Salam Bank, GFH International Group, Saya Corporation, and the Bahrain Jewelry Center. The chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club Supreme Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has remarkable achievements in the fields of horse racing due to its infrastructure and competitive elements that enable it to continue building on the successes achieved in organizing several local and international tournaments. He pointed out that the advanced levels reached by Bahrain in the equestrian sports and horse racing are the result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the continuous follow-up from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Isa expressed his pride in the Kingdom's good reputation and distinguished organizational and human resources and capabilities which constituted a major motive for continuing to organize this international championship for the second year in a row, especially after the impressive successes and the positive gains that were achieved during Bahrain's hosting of the first edition of the championship, as well as the past four editions of the Bahrain International Cup race. His Highness praised the advanced performance level of the participants in the tournament, congratulated the winners, and praised the organizational efforts made by the organizers of the tournament which demonstrated the high capabilities of the Kingdom of Bahrain in organizing various sports events, expressing his thanks and appreciation to all the sponsors and those who contributed to the success of the season. His Highness indicated that the Bahrain International Horse Racing Championship provides an ideal opportunity to benefit from the global and regional experiences, which contribute to raising and developing the level and capabilities of stables, riders and Bahraini riders enriching their experience in the field of horse racing and highlighting their talents at the global level. He also commended the success of the owners and Bahraini riders and their achievements in international and global races and championships. His Honor Sheikh Isa bin Salman received the Alba Cup for the fifth round from Alba Chairman His Honor Sheikh Daish bin Salman bin Daish Al Khalifa after His Highness's horse Battle of Tales won first place in the fifth round of Al Adiyat stable. His Highness Sheikh Daish bin Salman crowned the winners of the Alba Cup while the founder and chief executive officer of Humphrey Butler Jewelry presented the Humphrey Butler Jewelry Cup to His Highness Sheikh Hashim bin Muhammad bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority LMRA conducted a joint inspection campaign in the Southern Governorate in coordination with the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs of the Ministry of Interior and the Southern Governorate Police Directorate. The campaign resulted in reporting a number of violations related to the labor market and residency laws and were referred for legal action. 
The LMRA stressed its commitment to report any violation through a continuous and intensive inspection plan in cooperation with the relevant government entities. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority renewed its call on all members of the society to support the efforts of the government agencies to address illegal labour practices, calling on the public to report the violations by filing the electronic form on LMRA's website www.lmra.ph or calling the authorities contact center on 17506055. The General Directorate of Civil Defense at the Ministry of the Interior has carried out a safety campaign in order to spread the concept of public safety during the winter season to avoid fire and accidents and deal properly with the rainy season. The winter safety campaign included extensive and comprehensive lectures on safety matters for housewives and all segments of society, where a booklet was distributed containing tips on safety measures in the rainy season to educate the largest number of citizens and residents to reduce the outbreak of fires and accidents during the winter season to protect the lives and property in the Kingdom of Bahrain and strengthening the role of community partnership. The hotels and restaurants sector maintained a positive growth pace in light of the economic recovery witnessed by the non-oil sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain. More details in this report with Aisha Ibrahim. Positive economic prospects and growth across several non-oil sectors were the highlights of Bahrain's economic report for the third quarter of 2022. The non-oil sectors registered a 4.7% growth at constant prices to the GDP during the third quarter of this year on an annual basis and an increase of 6.4% at current prices compared to the same period for the previous year. The strong performance is attributed to the success of the economic recovery plan and invigorating economic activities across all sectors, most notably the hotels and restaurant sector, which witnessed the highest growth rate among the non-oil sectors since the end of last year, registering a 14.7% increase at constant prices. And as part of the economic recovery plan and knowing the potentials of the tourism sector and serving the country's economic and diversification efforts, a four-year strategy was commissioned, which focuses on achieving specific objectives in addition to tackling several issues such as streamlining the entry of tourists to Bahrain and enriching their experience with first-class exhibitions and a wide spectrum of recreational and cultural activities. The efforts of the concerned authorities in organizing events and launching tourism projects succeeded in invigorating the sector, which is reflected in the higher occupancy rate of hotels and restaurants and the remarkable growth rate. 